Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri. Pretty much everybody calls me Riri. I am a plus size model and a self-taught makeup artist in North Carolina and I love all things unicorns and mermaids. Yeah, that better all sums it up. I am also all for self-love. I think self-love is one of the most powerful, amazing, beautiful gifts we can give ourselves. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, Happy New Year. I hope everyone has started off their year with a bang. Um, I don't really start resolutions. Um, I just kind of want to treat myself as good as I treat other people and I'm really working towards some weight loss and health goals this year. Aside from that, things are okay. And really kind of working on mental health and stuff like that as well. Kind of working on myself, kind of mind, body, and soul. Working in synergy together. I think that's doable. So we'll see. <laughs> um, if I fidget with my hair, I apologize. I literally just cut it last night and I cut some bangs and then cut some layers into my hair. I'm really kind of feeling myself right now and I straightened my hair. So if I fidget with my hair throughout the video, I'm sorry. But uh, normally I'm lazy as fuck and I always wear my hair up as you guys know. So I'm kind of excited because this kind of forces me to do something to my hair. Um, yeah. So this video is super exciting. This is my best of the best for 2018, all categories, um, skincare, makeup, lips, etc. So I'm really excited. If you are excited too, then click that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as part of my beauty family or on YouTube. So yeah, grab a snack and let's get started. Well, I really tried to dwindle this down, dwindle, dwindle, dwindle this down to like one to two per category. Um, and really the items that, even though I still have holy grail items that I will never, ever, ever stop using, um, like my Modern Renaissance palette, things like that, I really stepped out of my box this year, especially this year, out of every other year, probably ever, um, for makeup and like beauty and skincare and things like that. Um, I kind of note that to fellow YouTubers and to like my sub boxes. I think getting the sub boxes is a really incredible and affordable way to try new brands and not break the bank and kind of find new favorites. So I'm super proud of myself that I went out of my comfort zone this year and really, really made myself try new things because I was really kind of stuck, I feel like, in a rut um, of really using like the same foundation, the same of everything consistently. So everything that I have on my face right now is going to be talked about in the video and I went just super soft, something very like natural and things like that. It is winter time, but I was kind of giving an ode to like, you know, spring, summer, just soft, dewy, pretty skin. Um, of course I did a new look because it's me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with skincare and my absolute favorite cleanser ever, and I've used it for several, several years, probably at least 10, 8 to 10 years is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser by Philosophy. This is my son's. I ran out of mine, so I had to steal his to show you guys. This is phenomenal, you guys. I use this to clean my makeup brushes, my makeup sponges. If you use beauty sponges, especially con like consistently, um, and you find that you cannot get them clean, and you're somebody that's like, you know, I have to buy a new sponge all the time because mine will never come, you know, completely clean. This will clean your sponges. I'm telling you, it's beautiful for that. I do my brushes with this. My 15 year old son uses this and it's, you know, it's perfect for him as well. You can use this on your eyes or use eye makeup. There is no sensitivity issue when I use this. It does not burn my eyes, sting my eyes, break my skin out, nothing. It smells nice. It works. It's effective. Love it. Hands down, my absolute favorite. Not just of this year, like period, of all time. <laughs> it's incredible, I'm just saying. I do want to give a special shout out because I forgot to bring it in here, but the Ula Hendrickson, the walnut scrub, the walnut facial scrub, I love that stuff. It is one of my holy grails as well. Absolutely love it. Fell in love with that. I think we got it in a boxy charm three to four months ago maybe, and I've used it ever since. Absolutely love it for exfoliating, and we'll buy another one when that one runs out. So, um, of course, when we get out of the shower, we want to hydrate the skin and kind of go from there and take care of our skin. I use two different things kind of when I get out of the shower, depending on what my needs are and kind of what the season is. I will use the Fab, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Um, if I really feel like I have a lot of like, you know, <laughs> you guys can probably see right now, I have a lot of really dry flaky skin on my face right now. Um, but like right now is the time that I really will use these. These help to like really detoxify, really exfoliate the skin and stuff like that. Again, my son uses these as well. He has a pack in his bathroom at all times. Um, super 
gentle on the skin, but they are really transformative. I mean, they make your skin feel incredibly clean, soft, you know, very exfoliated. I love these so much. I bought the full size pack one time. They dried out before I could use the rest of them. If you can get the little tiny sample packs, I honestly recommend you do those unless you're literally going to use them every single day. Um, next, I always, always, every single day, as soon as I get out of the shower before I do skincare or before I do my makeup, I will do my Avon, a new cleaning toner, cl new clean toner, revitalizing toner. Um, this is for all skin types. It doesn't have a strong scent. It feels nice on the skin. And I use this again every single day. Um, clearly, I have used the shit out of this this year. Um, there's a new one. I want to say by Ula Hendrickson. That's about to come out or just came out. I really would love to try that when this is gone. But it's like six bucks. <laughs> so we'll see. Because Ula Hendrickson, I love you, boo, but you're really expensive and mommy can't afford you. Okay. So those are like my first, you know, my starting points for my skincare. I will step out of the shower, I will do that, I will do the toner, and then I will do one of two moisturizers. Again, it depends kind of on the type, time of the year and how my skin is kind of doing. Um, I love the Avon A New Day Cream. This has an SPF of, I want to say 25, yes, of SPF of 25. Um, I am on my third little tiny one, and this one is about a third of the way gone. I will, when this is gone, again, I'm approaching 40, when this is gone, I'm going to start the purple, which is the platinum regime that Avon has, and I'm going to kind of see how that works, um, but I love it. It feels really nice on the skin. It does have a slight fragranced scent. If you are super sensitive to fragrance, I would not recommend that. My second favorite for 2018 is the It Cosmetics Confidence in the Cream. I love this stuff so much. I really use this more in the like the colder five to six months of the year and of course these the new during the summer months I really am a firm believer in SPF and protecting your skin um, but this confidence in the cream is for all skin types transforming moisture super cream anti-aging it is amazing it feels really nice on the skin it has a, a slight little scent to it slight perfume scent but it's not not anything that's overpowering or anything like that it's really nice and thick really emollient it feels incredible on the skin love it please pick this up if you get a chance to get a sample try it you will love it i promise <laughs> so once we get done with all that our skin is now prepped and we are ready to go i have two primers that i've tried a million primers and i used to be a stickler for smashbox primers um the green no the case is down there the green one because i have a lot of redness in my skin um and i use that for years and years and years like pretty much any smashbox primer i was really big on um yeah these two came along this year this one was the dr brandt the illuminating primer that we got in boxycharm and then i bought this one kind of on a whim because it is the urban decay self-adjusting complexion primer and it has adapting pigments in it and it's supposed to uh, you know blur out the pores blur out the skin it, oh my god you guys it's so good so I use the Dr. Brandt one, really more like in my T-zone, and then any areas that I may have like a little acne kind of little spot coming up because those spots can tend to grab and pull onto your foundation and cause those little weird crackly, if you have dry skin, those little crackly moments in your skin with your foundation, not cute. So I will use this one because it offers some illumination, some hydration. I will insert a pic of me wearing just this on my skin, on just fresh clean skin. Um, it just has the slightest little bit of luminosity, slight little bit of dewiness to it. Not too heavy, not too perfumed, not too thick and silicone-y. I'm also somebody that doesn't like something that's too thick, too heavy on my skin. I want the hydration. So I will really kind of like massage it. I don't just kind of slap it on my face. I really massage it, especially into these areas, like I said, into my T-zone. Above my brows and stuff is where I really get like cracking and peely and then around my nose areas. Then I will take the Urban Decay one and I will put around the perimeter of my face and blend that in. You will feel the little granules in here, like the little, I guess, the self-adjusting part of it. You will feel that the first, you know, couple times. Um, the first time I tried this primer, I hated it and I put it away. And then I watched a couple people use it. I don't really hear about it much. Um, I saw people, a couple of people use it and then I saw the reviews and I was like, okay, this is hit and miss. A lot of people really love this. I'm going to find out why they love this. So I tried it again and I really took my time to really blend it in, like really massage it into the skin and I gave it a second. And then I looked back at my skin and looked in the mirror and I was like, my mirror's not here. I was like, hmm, okay. My redness was gone. It literally blurs so beautifully, you guys. If you have 
hyperpigmentation, if you have rosacea and things like that, I really encourage you to please try this. It is it is expensive. She's pricey, okay? She's, she's pricey. But she's worth it, I promise you. Um, the blurring is absolutely phenomenal. There are days, like today, um, I will show you with the foundation I'm using in just a second, that I will do just that and my powder foundation, and that's it. And I feel comfortable, I feel good in my own skin, it's stunning, it is absolutely amazing. It doesn't feel heavy, thick, cakey, nothing. And my makeup lasts all day. So, moving forward, we're gonna go to our foundations. Now, I have never in my life been a fan of stick foundations. I have tried several. I've tried an ABH one, I've tried Maybelline, I've tried quite a few. I never liked them. I never felt like they performed. I never felt like I got good coverage. I always felt like too many of them were like really slippy and kind of waxy feeling, um, especially like the Ulta Beauty one. Oh my God, that one is trash. Do not ever buy that one. I don't care if it's a dollar. It sucks. Sorry, I'll tell you. Um, until a friend of mine recommended the ColourPop No Filter Stick. I am in the shade Light 40M. Ugh, you guys. And I will insert a picture of me with half of this, with this half, half my face, and then no makeup on the other half. First of all, they have a really nice shade range, which I really appreciate. It's only 10 bucks, and then of course ColourPop does sales, you guys, all the time. This feels so nice on the skin. It offers such beautiful coverage. I am not somebody that is a full coverage girl. I definitely am more light to medium, um, unless I just feel like I really need full coverage. If I'm doing a photo shoot, if I'm gonna do pictures, if I feel like my skin just like looking like shit and I have to go somewhere, if I'm going out, out, you know, hubby, like a date night or something. Um, aside from that, I love a, a softer skin-like finish. This is absolutely perfect for that. I feel like it has great coverage. You can build it up. You can do a double layer of it. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it, if I try to apply it or blend it out with just a standard Kabuki brush, which is what I use all the time and have for years, it's a little bit of a struggle to kind of blend the product out. So I do use an oval brush to blend this product out. Um, and with all the foundations that I'm talking about today, I did use the Dr. Brandt only on just the right side of my face and then one thin, you know, one layer, no double coverage, no nothing, no powder, anything like that. Um, each foundation was literally just a layer of the foundation and that is it. So you will get to see a before and after of all the foundations I'm talking about. But beautiful coverage, not heavy, not thick, not cakey, um, leaves a slight satin finish not super matte so I feel like if you have oily skin or dry skin you can wear this again I have very dry textured skin um, love it am a fan and I want to get some lighter shades and darker shades to highlight contour etc next up is the best I love all four that I'm talking about but this is the absolute best foundation that I used this year I have used the literal piss out of it I'm on my second one and then I also bought a third one so that I can mix with this because this is a little dark. And this is the Avon True Color Flawless Liquid Foundation. And I have the shades Natural Beige. This is kind of like my year-round shade, but I'm a little bit more fair right now. So I did buy the shade Nude just to mix in with this. This is my second of this shade. Um, first of all, it's glass. It's super heavy. It has a pump that locks. Thank you. Even high-end ones don't even usually lock. Okay, let's just go there. Um, it's like eight or nine dollars. They have several shades, 20 to 25, which they could improve. I will definitely say that. Um, I will say it has a slight perfume scent. Again, if you are super sensitive to scent, um, I do have sensitive skin. I've never had an issue with it. But if you are super sensitive to scent, do not buy it. It also has an SPF of 15, and I've never felt like I've had a cast to my skin. I've never felt like I've had a weird flashback to my skin, and I've literally used this foundation since March of this year. Well, it's technically 2019 now, but you get the idea. I've used it for several months, almost an entire year now. I absolutely fucking love it. The coverage is beautiful. It blends nicely. It stays on all day. It doesn't settle into my fine lines or anything like that. Love it. You'll love it. And, of course, I did before and after with this as well. Okay, I had a coughing fit, so we had to stop rolling for a second. Next up, if you are a full coverage girl, which I like more full coverage when I go into like fall and winter because I'm not so sweaty, I'm a big bitch, so I sweat a lot, you know. Um, if you're a super full coverage girl, but you have found, like me in the past, that full coverage means thick, heavy, cakey, 
settles in your fine lines and wrinkles. You feeling it? Are you feeling it? Yeah. Um, Jouer. Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I tried this and this also has hyaluronic acid. Yes, please, especially for dry skin. Fantastic. Um, I tried this in like a little sample thing. I bought a Jouer. Oh, my lip treatment. <laughs> Another one of my holy grails, you'll see. Um, I swear by the lip treatments. So I bought a lip treatment online and you can get the little sample thing. Again, close to a year ago. And I was like, eh, I'll try. I'm not much of a full coverage girl. I've tried the Kat Von D and I've tried Urban Decay's. You know, full coverage, I did not like them. The coverage was great, but having super dry skin and more mature skin, they sometimes do not work out. You guys, and you'll see in my, wherever it will be, my before and after, <laughs> the coverage, bar none, outstanding coverage. But it is a thinner consistency. It goes on and blends out beautifully, like a dream. It, sometimes it can settle just a little bit right under my eye, I mean, Guys, we have lines, we have creases, we have wrinkles. It is what it is. Um, aside from that, like I have nothing to say about it. It absolutely is one of the most stunning foundations I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've used a million foundations. So yeah, I love this. Please check it out. And they have a really good foundation shade range as well. Um, glass bottle, like frosted glass bottle. It's just it's stunning. It's so beautiful on the skin. I love it. Next up, we're gonna go to concealers. Um, my ride or die is always going to be Tarte Shape Tape. People can talk shit about it all they want to. And people can say that it's obsolete now. No, it's not. Um, I'm on my third one. I will continue to purchase it. I absolutely love it. The only thing that I don't like about it, because it is so thick and so full coverage, that if you do not set it well, or you do not have really good skin prep prior to, and you have drier or more mature skin, like myself, it is going to crease. And it is going to sometimes a little bit crazy or a little bit heavy underneath the eyes. Aside from that, love it. But recently, probably two months ago, I want to say, um, I discovered the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I have Fair 08, and then I also have the actual white one to do cut creases and stuff with. Game changer. It is so beautiful. It is what I'm wearing underneath my eyes today. Um, it covers the dark circles. It is not quite, in my opinion, as full coverage as Tarte Shape Tape, but it, you still get the coverage. It blends out beautifully, blends out super quickly, stays in place, doesn't crease, doesn't budge. It's it's outstanding. And it was $6 by only get one free. You cannot beat that. Tart Shape Tape is like $27. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, you guys. Um, I should talk about this in skincare, but I do lip scrubs. I either make them or I have a friend that makes them with you guys. It's like coconut oil and brown sugar, coconut oil and regular sugar. You can use olive oil and sugar and do essential oils, a couple drops. It's super crazy easy. Um, so I do lip scrub daily, usually twice daily. I don't know why I'm getting blurry. My apologies. Okay. Um, okay. Hopefully I'm not blurry anymore. Um, but if you see me cut out, it's because I am getting a coughing fit and I'm not going to cough on the camera. I think that's kind of rude. Anyway, so I do a lip scrub two times a day, um, morning and night, especially because I'm a matte lippy whore and <laughs> I love matte lippies, so I get dry lips. Um, so after I do my lip scrub, I will put one of, one of actually three, but I'm not going to talk about the other one because I just started using it and I want to be fair. But I either will put my Jouer lip treatment, hopefully I'm doing this right, um, my Jouer lip treatment, oh, this is my third, and I just bought another one because I cannot be without it. My son even loves this. Guys, this is phenomenal. I wear this every single night of my life to bed. I absolutely love it. It feels incredible on the lips. It lasts, like you literally wake up in the morning, you still feel it. Your lips feel incredible when you wake up in the morning. I honestly, unless something falls out of the sky that is way better than this, that it convinces me to try it, I will not ever try anything aside from this as far as like a sleeping or nighttime thing, other than the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I also got this, I think in like an Allure beauty box, but that is what it looks like. And I think because the textures of these are kind of similar, they're more thick and a little bit more emollient and balmy, and they last all night. They literally, you can go to bed with it on your lips and you still feel it in the morning time. And you actually feel and see a difference on the lips in the morning versus like chapstick, which why do people like chapstick? I will never understand that. Um, but like chapstick, I feel like you, it's on and then it's off in three seconds. This, I love. And my lips think maybe because of it every single time. So I forgot to mention that earlier with skincare. My apologies. 
Okay, so of course, after we do our foundation and our concealer and stuff like that, we're gonna jump into powder. Um, I have one that has literally been like my ride or die holy grail powder for about three years now, I would say. Um, and it is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I literally use this almost every single time I do my makeup. And I'm not much of a powder person because I do have drier skin, but I literally will put just a little bit of concealer. I will either press it out with my fingers or I'll take just the you know end of the beauty sponge, blend it out, and then I will take the flatter side of the beauty sponge, I will go like this, and then walk it across, wipe it directly off. It does not have a cast. It doesn't make me look sallow. Sometimes a banana powder or a powder that is too dark for the inner eyes can make you look a little bit sallow or like you're sick or something. And that's not cute, okay? Um, it doesn't do any of that. It doesn't give me any weird flashback or anything like that. It, it's really finely pressed, finely milled. It just, it feels incredible on the skin too. Love it. Can't live without it. <clears throat> Next up is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. I am the shade Creamy Natural. Um, ignore how my, <laughs> my pan looks because I've used the shit out of it. Um, super nice. I just take a really big fluffy, um, I actually use a Cosmetics Wonderball brush. I tap into the product as opposed to, I guess, rolling around in it. And I very really lightly tap it across the entire face. I really only use this if I'm using a more dewy or like more hydrating type of foundation and usually only in the summertime. I don't typically set any other time. And then this one, technically it's a foundation, but it's a powder, so we'll talk about it right now. This is the Celebration Foundation in the shade Light by It Cosmetics. Um, I have also used the Illumination one. Both are equally as amazing. I absolutely love it, and it is what I'm wearing on my skin today. <coughs> Excuse me. Normally I would have hit pause. I'm so sorry. But it's what I'm wearing on my skin today. They claim that you can build this up to full coverage. I don't feel like you can. Um, unless you have like the most bomb skin on the planet. Like I feel like I have decent skin and you can still kind of see like a little bit of acne scarring and stuff through. You don't see my redness through it, so that's a plus, but I feel like you get enough coverage that you know, it's an everyday foundation. And in the summertime, I definitely use this a lot. And the illumination one in summertime also is really beautiful. It's not drying, it's not heavy, it's not cakey. Um, and especially for somebody like me that has really dry skin and sensitive skin, it's nice. Today I am using my Medusa's makeup. <clears throat> you have already seen me talk about this <laughs> too many times. Um, this is Medusa's makeup in the shade Sunkissed. This is an indie brand, which is also something that I appreciate and love. This, if you have very, very fair skin, as you can see, she's pretty warm. Um, if you have very, very, skin, very fair skin, I would warn on the side of caution with this. Um, to probably stay away from it or use a very, very light hand and then maybe take and kind of press it out just a little bit with a little bit of, you know, loose powder or something like that. But I love the fact that it has a slight little bit of luminosity to it. I mean, I've, I'm, I've shown this before, <laughs> but it has a slight little bit of luminosity to it. It's warm, but it's not like so warm that it looks orange or red or cakey or weird on my face. Um, I just love it, and I love the little slight bit of a, like a sheen that it gives on the skin, especially in the summertime. That's my favorite type of bronzer, is one that has a little bit of, just like a little bit of luminosity to it. Um, but I just, I love it, and it's inexpensive, and it's an indie brand, and the packaging is amazing. Okay, my apologies. Uh, we have company, and they're leaving, so they had to lock on the door, so I'm sorry. Um, but again, it's affordable, amazing, love it especially summertime, but I've worn it like too many times. Um, I've also spoken about this on my channel. This is the Wet n Wild um, Bronze Dynasty. This was from the Fire and Ice, yes, the Fire and Ice collection. Again, more of a warm bronzer. I love a warm bronzer, I just, I love, and I love bronzers in general. Um, again, it has a slight luminosity to it. I'm flipping you guys off. A slight luminosity to it, and I feel like even though it's warm, again, it's not muddy or weird or anything like that it blends out beautifully not the biggest fan of their highlights but this bronzer is amazing um, I have two more of them and I love it so much and it's like three dollars four dollars next up um, is Too Faced Sun Bunny <laughs> I have literally used this bronzer three years four years something like that um, I love the fact that it has like the matte and the shimmer it has 
you know, the both different colors that you can blend together. I mix them both together and put them all over. I also have a full size of this. I have gone through multiple, multiple, multiple of these. It is obviously a little bit more pricey, but if you can get like the little smaller ones like this, a lot of times you can get them with like a try me thing. Um, I do like a lot of buy, sell, trade group things on Facebook. You can find them. People are selling them for like $5. You can go to Mercari and find them for $5 to $7. Um, but this is definitely one of my absolute holy grails. Not just for this year, but all the time. I absolutely love it. So moving on to blush. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about blush and I don't understand why. I think that it just gives such a beautiful little flush of color to the skin. I think that it's stunning. I think that it can literally wake up the face. It can make you just look refreshed and alive. Um, the two that I reached for over and over and over and over again this year were the Note Cosmetics one that we got again in BoxyCharm. Um, this is the shade Desert Rose. It is the perfect like peachy corally color. It is so soft. Absolutely soft. Again, slight luminescence to it. Um, I absolutely love the way that it looks on the skin. It lasts all day long. It smells nice. It feels nice. It just feels incredible. I absolutely love this blush so much. And then another one for me is like one of my OG blushes, but I still use her. I should probably throw it away and I need to see if they still make this one. But it's the Too Faced Love Flush in Funfetti. Um, she's been around the block a time or two. <laughs> Um, again, it's more of like that peachy corally shade, but then it's got, you can see like striations of pinks, yellows, purples, and things like that in here. So the way that it applies on the cheeks, and again, it lasts all day, it blends well and stuff like that, but just the way that it goes on the cheeks, it looks so natural and so just, like just sun-kissed and just flushed and beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Mine's old as shit, so... Anyway, <laughs> moving along to highlights. I tried to really do, like I said, one to two per category. Um, I couldn't pick just one to two in my highlights because I love highlight. It's one of my favorite products. And I'm definitely going to talk about this drugstore one right here first. And this is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the Molten Rose Gold. And that is what she looks like. These are absolutely stunning. The only thing I can say about these is they are slightly powdery like a little bit chalky but they're absolutely stunning and I did recently for Christmas time I just got the Nikki tutorials and the master chrome one so I'm excited to try that super blinding um, it doesn't the lasting power is not really there it doesn't really stay on as long as like some other ones but super blinding it's like eight or nine dollars I absolutely love it I think it's stunning next up is also one of my ride or die like OGs. Um, it is the Ofra Nikki tutorials, but any Ofra highlight is bomb as hell in my opinion. Um, but I use a combination of these two all the time, and then in the summertime or really any time. But I will use this one as an eyeshadow. But again, super super blinding. Um, this one's not quite as powdery or as dusty as like the Maybelline one is. This one is jet like it absolutely stunning, almost like lit from within and almost like glass on the skin. This one does last a really long time. I don't feel like it accentuates any of my like texture on my skin or anything like that. I just, I love it. I absolutely love Ofra highlights. Next up is my little Jouer highlight. I wish that I could get a different one and afford um, many, many more of these. And this is in the shade Topaz. Um, again, this one is slightly, slightly more powdery than I really like. It's right here. I'm trying to hide this finger. Um, super blinding. Super, super beautiful. Um, I feel like the lasting power is here. Again, um, I'm kind of big on that as far as with my products, with anything, with, you know, foundations, eyeshadows, things like that. Something can be super stunning, but if I put it on and it's gone in 10 seconds, I'm not going to use it again. Um, but this is super stunning. I feel like the staying power is, is decent. Um, I feel like the texture could be a little bit better on these. Um, like I said, it's slightly powdery in my opinion, but it definitely, you know, there's no sparkle. There's no glitter or anything like that. I'm not a glittery type of highlight person. I really like a like really pretty like lit from within, but still blinding if that makes any sense. And the one that I'm wearing today 
is by Morphe and it is the shade Spark. And this is kind of a newfound love for me for my best of 2018. But um, this, again, it can be slightly powdery. As you can see, there's like quite a bit of kickback in the actual little pan. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's on my middle finger. My apologies. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. Um, super, super blinding. I've got an empty spot for you guys. Um, so that is what it looks like on the skin. This does last all day long. Again, I don't feel like it emphasizes my texture or anything like that on my skin. I just think that it's absolutely beautiful. And it's like six or seven dollars maybe. Um, yeah, so I know that's a lot for, for highlights, but I really love highlights. I'm also trying to kind of go in between high-end and drugstore. I'm not a type of person that's, you know, like a brand whore. I, if it works for me, I'm going to use it. I don't care if it costs $3 or $33. So that is our highlighters. Next, I want to talk about two single shadows really quick before I get into the palettes because I have quite a few palettes. Um, <clears throat> If I ever am working with a palette that I feel like I don't have a really good transition shade, I will reach for this Milani Single Shadow, and it is Bella Cappuccino, and it's their Gel um, Shadows. This is what it looks like. If I can get it open. That is what she looks like. Just like your standard, like, little taupey brown shade. Um, but this is so, so soft, and so creamy, and so buttery. It literally, with it saying gel, I mean, it does feel like it's like a gel powder kind of hybrid. It feels incredible. It blends out beautifully. And for me, for my personal taste and my skin tone, it is the absolute perfect transition shade. And then I can reach into any other palette that maybe doesn't have a good transition shade for me. Um, I would also like to talk about, and again, this is old as shit, so I could probably go away, but whatever. I keep sanitizing or using it. But this is from Carmen D. <laughs> this is the next level eyeshadow in Golden Touch. My favorite gold eyeshadow as far as a like single that I have ever, ever, ever used. This is so absolutely creamy, beautiful, blinding. It's, it's stunning. And I had probably three of these. She, I don't believe any, any no longer sells these products anymore. Why did I not speak English right just now? Uh, anyways, these products are not sold anymore, to my knowledge, but I got this with, um, from HSN, and there was like this with like a mascara and an eyeliner, I want to say, and they were on clearance for like seven bucks, you guys, so I got like three or four sets. <laughs> um, yeah, this is absolutely stunning, and like days like today, where I literally just use my fingers to apply my shadow and just did like a little quick something, I will take this, I will put it all over the lid, and then I will take like a matte shade and put on the bottom like I did today, and throw on some mascara, and that's that. But I just wanted to give like a little special shout out to those. I use these two shades consistently and love them a lot. So my palettes for 2018. Um, I have a few, of course. Um, and I'm gonna try to be as quick as I possibly can because if not, then this video is gonna be 400 hours long. Um, so yeah. First, I'm going to talk about, and people are going to hate me, I don't give a fuck, I love this palette, and I've used it multiple, multiple, multiple times since I got it. It is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette in the Armed and Gorgeous, and I love it. I don't care. I just love it a lot. I think that it's absolutely stunning. For me, it works beautifully, and it has worked beautifully every single time. I love beautiful warm tones in here. I love that there's green, because I love green, so my absolute favorite colors to wear on my eyes, as are warm tones, as are golds. Love it. Don't care if you don't. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Next up, I'm going to talk about the Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette, and I absolutely love this palette. I have a couple by Juvia's Place, but I don't reach for them all the time. Whereas with this one, I've used it multiple times in this particular year, and I love it. This is one of the palettes that I will reach for my Milani single because I cannot use these as a transition shade for myself. Um, again, I am a fan of beautiful warm tones, golds, and things like that, so I absolutely love this palette. Juvia's Place are some of the most inexpensive yet highly pigmented and long-lasting palettes that you can purchase. Do yourself a solid and buy a Juvia's Place palette. I love it. Next up. Um, I had the rose gold palette by Huda Beauty and it was a piece of shit. I returned it. I didn't like it and I would never buy another one of the big ones again out of fear. However, 
the Huda Beauty Warm Brown and Sessions palette. It's stunning and I've used it a shit ton. As you can tell, again, I love warm tones. I love golds. That's just me. Um, yeah, I love this. Super, super pigmented. I mean, very, very pigmented. Very long lasting. You can build them up if you need to. I just, I love this. Love this so much. I want the emerald one so bad because, you know, I love greens too. But definitely, um, it was a game changer for me as far as her products. I haven't really tried many of her other products aside from a gloss, which I fucking hated. Um, but the big palette, I was not a fan. Did not like it. Did not like anything about it. And I spent a lot of money on that palette. Yeah. But these, they're worth it. And some of these, um, the different shade variations are on sale through Sephora. So check that out. But very long lasting. I love that you can literally get, it's just a super nice natural look for this. You get the little pop of the gold and you have the metallic in here. I just, I love this so much. I've used it a ton this year. Next up. Again, if you don't like this person, don't buy it and don't use it. But my Jeffree Star blush sugar palette. <clears throat> Game changer, for sure. Um, the packaging kind of sucks a little bit. It is kitschy, it's cool, it's different, it's funky. I get that. Um, it takes up a lot of room in my makeup space and it's really heavy. I could never travel with this. But she is absolutely stunning. You can tell I've used <laughs> some of these shades quite a bit. Um, but she's absolutely stunning. Again, I love, love, love more warm tones with the reds and things like that. Or, well, you know, I love this type of color scheme. I have not really so much touched these through here, but again, with the golds, I think that they are perfect transition shades in here, and you can use these as transition shades for if you have a more darker, complected skin tone. I just love this fucking palette, and it's so highly, highly pigmented. They last forever and ever and ever. Um, I will say that this pink right here and the fresh meat right here, they do stain my lid, um, but I haven't gotten any irritation or anything like that from them. But this palette, you guys, is the bomb. I love it. I love it. I love it. And they're coming out with another one in March, which just so happens to be your girl's birthday month. So y'all pray for me that I have the money when that new palette drops that I can get one. So, love that palette. I've used it a million times this year, and I will continue to do so. <clears throat> Last palette I want to give a shout out to, and is my absolute one of my best for 2018, is what is on my eyes right now, and that is the Alamar Cosmetics, the Reina del Caribe, hopefully I said that right, palette, um, volume one, also that we got in BoxyCharm. I'm loving BoxyCharm products, aren't I? Um, that we got in BoxyCharm. <laughs> I absolutely love, love, love this palette. I use these all the time, again, warm tones <laughs> um and then this side of the palette i used really consistently in the summertime after we got this in our boxy charm i used it a shit ton i think they are very well milled they are very you know highly pigmented they last on the lids all day long um i literally just used my fingers and i did la costa all over i did this one right here on the very inner corner and then i did this one right here on the outer half of my lid and then i went in with Tropico, just on a little small, like fine brush, and did my bottom lash line with it, and that was it. Um, just use my fingers and then the brush on the bottom. But I absolutely love this. I think that it's stunning for any time of the year because, of course, you can use these as more of your fall winter tones, and then these were absolutely stunning during the summertime. I used this so, so much in the summer months. Um, so, and I'm excited. I want to get the second version of this, so I hope that I am able to get that. And now we are going to talk about our brows and our lips, and then we're finally done with this 400 hour video that I apologize for being so long. Um, I'm going to go very, very quickly now because this video is going to be crazy long, and I do apologize. And I apologize if I've gotten nervous. This is a lot of shit to talk about in a little bit of time. <laughs> so anyways, um, for my brows. I am obviously trying to grow them out, so I didn't do like a whole lot today, just a little something something. So I just went in with my Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I've mentioned this a hundred times, and I'm on my fourth one. I love this thing so much. And I have used the Benefit Precise in My Brow, which I always will love, and the L'Oreal Little Micro Brow Pencil, the CoverGirl one, like those are all really good, but this, ever since I discovered it, I've used just this 
or the Maybelline Tattoo Gel. But this is really nicely, you know, it's like stiff enough that you can get through the brows, but it's not waxy or really heavy. But then it's not too soft that it's like breaking apart or that you feel like it doesn't stay on the skin. It really does last all day. It is super, super fine. It has like the finest little point. I'm almost out of this, which really sucks. Um, it has the finest little point. Of course, it's fully on the end. Um, they have quite a few colors from this and it's like $10, but then if you get it, obviously when Ulta does the BOGO, you'll get it for five bucks or, you know, buy only for five dollars. The other one that I've been using a ton in 2018, like a lot, is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. And this is the shade, we don't blind. And I keep saying I'm gonna wear glasses when I do these videos, medium brown. So what I normally do <clears throat> is I take it from here and I just take my little tiny fine brush, my brow brush, and I will take the brush and dig into here. I will do my defined line, kind of fill in anywhere that I need to fill in. I will always start like through this area of my brow first and kind of get the bulk of the product off my brow, off the brush first, and then take whatever's left and just kind of gently feather it through the front part of the brow. This stuff you have to work really quickly with because when they say tattoo, they mean tattoo. I have fallen asleep with this on my face and woke up the next day and had perfect brows. So you do have to work fast. Um, you definitely want to like get through it and kind of set it or spool it as quickly as you possibly can and kind of get it in place as quickly as you can because once it's there, it's there and it's not going anywhere at all. But highly recommend it. It's amazing and it stays all day. And then of course to set my brows and I've also been using this for a million and a half years, but this is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade three. Um, I use it today and I usually just put it on the front part of my brows like to right there and that's about it but I absolutely love it keeps your brows tame keeps them from you know looking wiry or anything like that kind of just keeps everybody in place if you already have amazing brows god bless you I love you <laughs> um if you already have amazing brows but maybe your brows are really fair you have really blonde hair you have like red hair and your brows just you feel like um nobody sees our brows just use a brow tint and put that through your brows and I promise you, you'll notice a difference. You don't have to add a bunch of heavy, you know, brow product. Just put a little bit of brow gel through your brows and that will make a big difference in the way that your brows look on your face. So we're in the home stretch, you guys. We're in the home stretch. We're almost there. The two mascaras, aside from my two holy grails that I talk about all the time, so I'm not even going to mention them. Um, the two that I really felt in love with this year were the Maybelline Lash Sensational absolutely love this especially for drugstores like seven or eight bucks um has a curved wand the little tiny teeth this really lifts and separates like a bra <laughs> um lifts and separates the lashes and makes them super super black you will not get the volume from this you will have to do another mascara if you want the extra volume and stuff like that so i go on top of it with the lancome once you're big um now this one I have fallen in love with and you know I normally use BTS um, but this one is kind of like the same type of brush this one is gonna go in on top of this one I use both every single time I do my makeup this one's gonna go on top of the Maybelline and really start to lengthen and blacken and thicken and like just really volumize the lashes these two together are absolutely phenomenal and stunning I love them both but this is all I have on my light my lashes today and then, last but not least, we're going to talk about lips. So, my two favorite lip liners for 2018 that I reached for time and time again were my Lime Light. They now call it Lime Life, but Lime Light by Alcone. This is the Enduring Lip Liner in shade 2, which is just a really soft, actual nude nude, like a classic, classic nude. And I love that this is at an angle, and it really fits, like, up into, like, the curves and stuff of the lips absolutely perfectly. It doesn't tug, it doesn't drag. It's nice and creamy, it lasts all day, it feels good on the lips. Love it. And then, this is my Holy Grail one. Absolutely love this. This is Kylie Cosmetics Moon Lip Liner. Um, this is what I am wearing today with my lipstick. Um, I love this so much. Again, it's just a beautiful nude. This one is a little bit more of a more brown nude tone or a grayish, if you want to call it that. Um, again, super creamy, glides on beautifully lasts all day on my lips I don't feel like it like cracks or gets feathery or anything like that I just absolutely love love it 
and then my top three that I used time and time and time and time again as far as lips were the TARDIS lip paints in the shade Birthday Suit. This is a nude but slightly on the pink side and not so pink that it's like hot pink or Barbie pink because you know I don't do that. Um, but it's beautiful. It's not too too drying. It sets really quickly. It smells nice. It feels good on the lips. I just absolutely love it. Um, next was the Too Faced Milton Matte and Queen Bee. <laughs> I have bought like five of these this year and I'm fucking obsessed with the shade. It is a nude, but it is a beautiful like lilac purple nude. Ugh, especially in springtime and summertime, but I wear it year round. I absolutely love this so much. I'm not a fan of Too Faced lippies, kind of in general, like those weird melted whatevers and the lacquer ones and all that other bullshit, and like the gingerbread something. Like I tried a bunch of them, like the chocolate ones and stuff like that. I fucking hated them all, every single one of them. But a friend of mine, we did like a swap sister type thing. And when I got this from her, I tried this, you guys, and I was blown away. It feels incredible on the lips. It doesn't break down or flake or get like a weird, like patchy texture to it or anything like that. It's like one swipe coverage. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this color and love this, like the consistency and the formula so much. And then what I have on my lips today and one of my Holy Grail products that I have talked about and talked about and talked about will always use is my Lime Crime Cashmere. Again, it's more of like a grayish <laughs> um, nude. This is what I'm wearing today with the Kylie Moon. Love it. Lime Crime is aside now from Dose of Colors, which I didn't mention because I just got it. Um, hands down, my absolute, absolute favorite lip lipstick, period. Um, even with my Kylie, that's why I don't have the Kylie Moon lipstick on with this because I do own it. Um, even with the Kylie, I love the way that it goes on. I love the opacity, but the wear time is not there. It flakes on me, it breaks down. I can talk for an hour and I feel like it's gone in the center part of my lips. I just don't like it. I don't like the formula overall. Um, but the Lime Crime does not do that. It goes on beautifully. It feels nice on the lips. Like, it doesn't feel tacky or weird but it doesn't feel crusty or cakey either. It's really hard to explain. Like it has such a nice, comfortable feel on the lips, but it lasts all day. I can talk, I can drink, I can eat, I can do whatever, and it does not budge. I absolutely love this so much. Um, I have several shades, but cashmere is like my, my ride or die. So I know this video is 400 hours long. <laughs> my sincerest apologies. And if you got through this, I love you and your whole guts. Um, so that is it. That is my best of the best for 2018 in all categories for lips, eyes, everything. Um, obviously, I have different skin, different wants, likes, needs than you do. If you love something and I hate it, totally fine. If you hate something and I, uh, you know, no, reverse that. If you love something and I hate it, you get the idea. Um, you know, we're all different. We all want something different out of a cosmetic or a skincare brand or, you know, routine. Um, something that works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So these are items and products that work for me personally and things that I have loved and used a million times in the year, tw you know, 2018. So I'm looking forward to an amazing and successful year this year. I'm looking forward to doing this video in a year and maybe being at a thousand subscribers. Um, I have a lot of, of goals and I'm wanting to do some giveaways and things like that for my channel once I get to 250 subs. I just I have a lot of things that I really want to do. Um, like I said, really trying to get my shit together, mind, body, and soul. And I think once I kind of can step up kind of the mind part um, and then get the body kind of working with that, I think that the goals that I really have set for myself, I, I know I'm going to make them happen. So I'm going to thank everybody in advance for being here. Um, yeah, I appreciate you all so much more than you will ever understand or know. And I look forward to an amazing and successful year. If you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. If you hit that notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. And please always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.